was a first in the history of the citrus industry. Now, when I was a boy, they all clipped everything. They had little hand clippers, and every orange was clipped. They had a sack, and he'd go up the top of the ladder. Yankee would come down, he'd start at the bottom and start picking up, which is trying to haul the fruit up, and we'd laugh at the Yankees. But uh, a good picker goes to the top, and he's fanning the fruit. He hits it with his clipper, cuts it, and throws it into his bag. So he lets gravity come down, he steps down a rung at the time. And by the time he's got a full sack, he goes over to the box, the old field box I was talking about, and dumps it. Mm -hmm. And when was did it? you invent the, the, the Becky this box? This Becky was born in 1955, 55. and okay. we invented the Becky box okay. in 55. For years, the citrus industry used a 90-pound, what was called a field box. Mm -hmm. And the picker would take his pick sack, everything was picked in sack, bring it over, dump his fruit in the 90-pound box, and then a very strong man would pick that up and put it on what we call a goat or a Riley. Labor intense. Labor intensive. Mm -hmm. And he would then stack them four high and the Riley would take them out to a trailer and it'd have to be moved from there to the trailer. I got the wild idea that you didn't need to do all that. So I built a box that held 20 boxes and lined 20 of them up on trailers so it looked just like the fruit trailer sitting over there we sure. were in front of. Mm -hmm. We took a high lift, which is that unit over there, and loaded it and just dumped it in and brought it into the packing house and degreened the fruit in the box mm -hmm. and tilted it and let the fruit run out. Wow. And that was a Becky box. That was and a Becky box. That one never caught on industry-wide, but they took them and made tin box pallet boxes, and that's what's in use today. But Bert has also been through tragedy the devastating freezes of the 1980s bankrupt many citrus growers. Roper operations went from producing a million and a half boxes to 200,000 in one year, an 80% cut in production. It would cut your uh, profit level substantially. But due to Bert's invention, the tree C, it kept their operations afloat during the hard times. Bert explains. Now, since our groves have been frozen out, exactly. we've reduced our operations and primarily sell them. Exactly. To Due the, to what happened in the 80s, yes, uh, exactly. the 80s freezes. Uh, that was history. a brutal but time. But this sends a signal into the cab. The Tree C is a low-volume, high-pressure pesticide sprayer that he developed during the energy crisis of the early 70s. But it was primarily an energy conservation where we went out and determined whether it was a tree, and if there's no tree, we turned the sprayer off. Mm -hmm. So as you went down Out through the grove, and after the freezes, we were spraying 25% as much because we had 75% of our canopy had been killed with the freezes. So we saved many millions of dollars for the state and protect the environment from the toxic poisons it uses the technology of sonar by allowing sound waves to go out and hit the trees at different heights and sends back a signal to the sprayer to tell it which nozzles to activate. Roper patented his invention in 1982 and sold his first unit to Minute Maid in 84. Their first unit. First unit, first, first unit. Wow, customer. that's exciting. Jack Norris was their production man and I'll wow. love him forever. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs>